Hello, welcome to the 1000 subscriber special. Today I'll be answering your questions. Once again thank you so much for the recent support. I truly can't thank you guys enough. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first two questions come from Square and Ryan Gitto. How long does it take to make an origin and which one took the longest to make? Well, it depends on how many abilities the origin has and how hard those abilities are to code. Sometimes making an origin takes just a few hours and others a few days. It varies quite a lot. As for which one took the longest, that would be the giant origin. Its stomp ability kept messing up and I had to find a way to make it as consistent as possible. The next question comes from Mr. Cakeface. What gives you the ideas for the origins and their abilities? Most of my origins so far are animal origins. Pretty much I just think of a cool animal and do a little research. I try to make their abilities based on what the animal can do in real life. Firebolt Gaming asks, did you have any resources besides documentation to learn to make origins? I actually first started to learn by watching YouTube tutorials. From there I joined the Origins Discord which has a lot of resources you can use to make origins for yourself. This one's from Inferno Anims. Do you know how to make Forge mods? I know how to make origins for Forge but I have never tried making other mods as of yet. Maybe that's something I'll try in the future. This next question is a tricky one. Tyrat asks, what is your favorite Minecraft mob? My favorite mob isn't actually released yet. I think the Warden is extremely cool. But if we have to go off of a mob that's actually a part of the game, I would say that the classic villager is my favorite. This one's from Flamingo Plushie. If I had to choose what would be my favorite origin that I've made so far, out of the origins I've made so far I would say that the Goatlin is my favorite. It's just super fun to play as and jump around. It's also quite powerful. Bean asks, is making origins hard? Again, it depends on the type of abilities you wish to make. Some require a lot more coding than others. Once you have practiced and have made quite a few origins it gets easier over time. George Porras has asked, how is your day going? My day is going awesome. Thanks for asking. This next one's from Mustafa. When did you start coding? I first started coding when I went into high school. I took a coding related class and really enjoyed it. Prior to that I had always used computers but had never been introduced to any coding environments. Will you stream on Twitch? I'm not sure. I think streaming could be very fun but I haven't thought about streaming just yet. Maybe it will be something I will do in the near future. Will you do a hand reveal? I'm not sure why you want to see my epic gamer hand. But sure, here it is. The next question comes from Katsu Chaos. What game do you play other than Minecraft and why do you like that game? I'm a big fan of open world survival games. So I play games like The Isle, Ark Survival Evolved, Kenshi, The Forest, Subnautica and Green Hell. I play a lot of other games too but I like these games because they are challenging yet rewarding once you get far enough. What is your favorite meme? Well that's an easy one. It's clearly. Just kidding. I'm not sure. Probably the FBI open up one. Alright that's going to conclude this Q&A video. Hopefully you all learnt a little bit more about me. I look forward to making many more videos in the future for you all. I love every single one of you. Thanks so much for 1000 subscribers. I can't wait to see what we will reach next. Also, leave a comment down below with an idea for a future milestone that we could celebrate together. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.